the morning turned out to be foggy. Due to low clouds that were already hanging at around 600 meters, the sun was hidden and almost nothing was visible around. Today, our plan is to hiking Mount Harvey in one day, then descend on the other side onto the Howe Sound Crest Trail, walk through a snowy valley, and hike to the top of nearby Mountain Brunswick. We hiking to the top of Mount Harvey from the village of Lions Bay, following a well-marked trail. There are no sources of water passing directly along the trail. Only a small creek passes a little to the side of the trail at the level of 750 and 1,050 meters. You only need to walk 5.6 kilometers to the top of Narvi. But our hike is a 16 kilometers round trip, so consider your strength if you want to repeat our journey. Finally, we came out of the dense forest, onto open stones where mountain flowers grow and smell delicious. And as if ordered, the clouds began to dissipate, and finally, the sun began to shine which immediately opened up a view of Harvey's pup standing nearby. That's what this peak was called. Having walked a little further forward, from behind the clouds, the lonely peak of Harvey finally appeared. We just have to walk along the ridge and we will be at its summit. Then you have to go down the other side of the mountain and walk along a valley with snow. This is part of the hiking and there is a Howe Sound Crest Trail. Also a very popular and very beautiful hike with a length of 33 kilometers. There has been no snow here since the end of July. And after Lyons, the two twin peaks are so called. There are many places for recreation and several shelters. From one to the second peak along the trail, it will take you about an hour and a half. The snow will gradually end and you will again find yourself in the guest forest. Then when you reach the crossroads, you should turn sharply to the right to start scrambling to the summit of Brunswick. From the crossroad to the top, there are only 600 meters left with an elevation of 288 meters. But don't expect to be at the summit of Brunswick right away. You'll first come out onto a ridge with a beautiful view. Then you have to go a little further to the side, scrambling and avoiding rocks, going down and up through false peaks, and along narrow ridges to really find yourself at an altitude of 1,788 meters. <laughs> 